In this video, we will learn the statement and proof of Darbu theorem. Darbu was a famous French mathematician and in honor of him, this theorem is called Darbu, Darbu theorem. Now, the statement of Darbu theorem is, so I am writing the statement first. So, statement suppose f is a suppose f is a real differentiable function differentiable function on a b on the bounded interval a b and suppose and suppose a prime of a is less than lambda less than a prime of b then then there exist a point there is a point x0 in a b such that a prime of x0 would be that lambda. So, this is the statement. Now, if you think graphically, then suppose this is x axis, this is y axis and the function a prime is suppose this one, this is graph of a prime first derivative. Now, if this point is A, this point is A and if this point is B, then it would be A prime of A because this is graph of first derivative A prime. Similarly, this would be A prime of B. So, this would be A prime of B. Now, we consider a point lambda which lies between a prime of a and a prime of b. Suppose lambda is here. So, suppose lambda is here. So, if lambda is here, then what you can do? First draw a line parallel to x axis. So, suppose this is the line. Now, draw a line parallel to y axis. So, so, this point would be x0 because at this point a prime of x0 is lambda. At this point a prime of x0 is lambda. Now, we will prove the theorem. Now, proof To prove the theorem, uh, we let put h of t equals to f of t minus lambda t, f of t minus lambda t. Since the function f is differentiable, then h will be also differentiable. Therefore, we can write then h prime of t is a prime of t minus lambda okay that is h prime of t now at t equals to a so h prime of a so if you plug t equals to a then it becomes a prime of a minus lambda now, if you consider this part, this part, then a prime of a minus lambda is less than 0, a prime of a minus lambda is less than 0. So, this would be less than 0. So, so that, so since the first derivative, first derivative 
at a is less than 0 that means the function is decreasing at x equals to a because we know if first derivative is less than 0 function is decreasing and if first derivative more than 0 the function is increasing at that point. So, if you think the graph of h the function h it is this type suppose this is graph of h graph of h this point is a this is a and this point is b. So, at x equals to a h prime of a is less than 0 that means the function is decreasing. Now, if you take any point near to a suppose this one is t 1 then h of t 1 would be less than h of a because if this t 1 then this would be h of t 1 and this is h of a for some for some t 1 in a b and h prime of b would be so if you plug t equals to b here then it becomes a prime of b a prime of b minus lambda now if you consider this part now if you consider this part then a prime of b minus lambda is more than 0 so this is more than 0 now since at b first derivative is more than 0 that means the function is increasing this point so at b the function is increasing now if you consider any point suppose this is t 2 which is close to b then so that h of t 2 would be less than h of b for some t 2 in a b ok. Now, we know a function has minimum or, or maximum if the slope changes. If the slope changes from a negative to positive, then we have minimum because here the slope is negative, here the slope is positive. So, if it changes from negative to positive, then we have minimum and if the slope changes from positive to negative, then we have maximum. So, therefore, h attains its minimum its minimum on a b on a b at some point at some point x 0 element of a b such that such that h prime of x 0 is 0 because at maximum point or minimum point the first derivative is always 0. Now, if h prime of t is this one then h prime of x 0 would be a prime of x 0 minus lambda which equals to 0. Now, if you simplify it becomes a prime of x 0 equals to lambda and this is what we need this is what we need. So, this completes proof of this theorem. Thanks for watching.